And we have a 1v1 on simple. Silent kill on the blue t on the blue side versus Antimon on the red side. They are both bombers. Bombers uh, seeming to be the current meta in 1v1 right now. And Antimon with that really nice green sea bomber. Look at that thing. Anyway, uh, complete moneymaker openers here. Antimon deciding to go with the armadillo spam and Silent Kill apparently going with the T99 spam, so let's see which of these styles will come up, will triumph over the other. Both waiting over their bases. Entomon drops the drops the armadillo right in front of that base to take out that jackal, and Silent Kill doing the same thing with the T99s. <coughs> Entomon bringing the Dillos up to take out the Gaddy and T99 for, from mid. Silent Kill also doing the exact same thing. Cookie cutter kind of a, uh, of a uh, sequence of events for simple most of the time. And Silent Kill goes down to the <laughs> down under the bridge and starts to slash away at the armadillos and kills quite a lot of them. It's very dangerous to put things next to cliffs and such against bombers. But Silent Kill goes down being very careless with his uh, movement there walking right by that T99, taking a big lot of, uh, big, uh, a big, uh, chunk of damage off of him, and Antimon, paying attention there, finishes him off, takes his creeps, and secures mid, not secures mid, but takes it, and starts to secure it, and fairly effectively, apparently, with these, with these Dillos, Silent Hill just jumping down right in the middle of those Dillos, and takes, gets taken down, taking full fire of all those Dillos, if you're right in the middle, the majority of the time, you are the closest thing to them, and you will go down. Antimon taking down these T99s, uh, eventually gets up to take a take take an armadillo uh, out of queue. Silent Kill bringing back his T99, recognizing it's in danger, <coughs> and Antimon starts to bring over some infantry and starts slashing at him. Oh nope, doesn't start slashing at him. Silent Kill starts slashing. Antimon bringing down two Dillos. Oh, and and is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna survive. But Silent Kill trying to deal with these Dillos and more infantry coming down. There are no T99s to support him on this side, and two bulbs get taken out. Let's see what else Antimon can do. He bring two. He's bringing two Dillos over there. They will not be able to deal with those T99s very well. Antimon drops. What is that? There was nothing down there, or at least maybe he dropped infantry, and they were taken out quickly by Silent Kill. And Silent Kill takes out those two Dillos over there on the side that, that were getting just a full thrashing from those uh, T99s to begin with. Antimon puts uh, uh, almost puts down a, a uh, an artillery, but gets thwarted by Silent Kill. Antimon microing his uh, micro healing his uh, his his Dillos and queues up two more money makers. And those arties are hitting, are hitting these um, these artillery or these um, these units. This jammer is not working. That's very interesting. Game changes every single hour for some reason. <laughs> well, for obvious reasons, but they make changes so often it's just very hard to keep up. Antimon trying to do some bombing runs, but there are so many T99s there he can barely get in any before he has to leave. And uh, Silent Kill dropping down, trying to micro heal his tanks up, but there are so many Arties or Archies over here. Oh, there's only two. I thought there were three. There's. I thought there was more. I could have sworn there were five-ish. Um, and Antimon just continually going back and forth doing bombing runs, but as you can see, his health goes down so fast from those T99s, and one time even faster than before, or at least. <laughs> did not leave in time. And so now this is Silent Kill's chance. He's taken out all these artillery. And he falls. Oh, he falls. That that's that's a big blow. Antimon responds very quickly, puts down a hat, and that is good enough to scare most players. Uh <laughs> Antimon putting down more artillery behind his behind his base, behind mid, so it uh, will not be as in danger as the front positions. And now trying to take two Dillos back to that, back to Silent Kill's other base, that they, that Moneymaker will go down, Silent Kill will have to deal with this 
unless yes he will he will put down a longhorn Antimon was taken down there so he will be able to deal with this he rebuilds his moneymaker he leaves the tank there <clears throat> he leaves the tank there so Antimon will not be able to do that again but look at this massive force of Dillo sitting right here this is and these things move fast and if you look at Silent Kill's front door there is nothing absolutely nothing Silent Kill Making another jammer, I'm not sure if they work, to be honest, because those things were firing at the units. They were not firing at the outposts. Um, and Antimon just bombing the Seeker, just getting some extra EXP. Or at least creating an alley for his, uh, for his, his infantry to walk through. Silent Kill leapfrogging his stuff up, and oh, almost loses that moneymaker again. Well, probably not almost. useless shots <laughs> on a on a base on a uh, on a mech over base Antimon doing a couple more bombing runs be ah, and I was gonna say careful not to be taken out again when those missiles come at you heal is not what it used to be and when you're sitting over your base missiles can and frequently do finish you off now this base went neutral and even if uh, silent kill gets four infantry in it there are too many armadillos over here to deal with and they will pretty much instantly neutralize just well yeah see the bulbs go up the bulbs go down and uh, uh yeah some infantry were walking in there uh for silent kill oh and silent kill had them all on attack and just unblock them now holy crap they're trying to oh they are gonna do their best to walk through these t99s but they are moving slow antimon recognizing he now needs jammers because you cannot be cannot be in a in an arty war in an artillery war without jammers right now or at least you can but it will suck for you for the most part <laughs> this game sucks now <laughs> yeah you need bombs if you don't have a if you don't have the counter to the arty you need the counter to the counter which is the bombs <clears throat> but because your bomber well i mean look at all those t99s he would not he would not have been able to get enough damage in on that jammer to be able to kill him. And now Silent Kill moving in. Moving in his T99 on the bridge. Doing more bombing on these Dillos back here. Antimon is desperately trying to rebuild as many as he can. And sets an Archie back there to attack these T99. That'll 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 do fairly well. You need more, typically. And he's doing some bombing runs, once again with the missiles, oh, and so close to killing him. There are so many missiles that come out of those T-99s. T-99's OP. <laughs> Not really. Nothing's really OP in this game for the most part, but things change on and off. As of right now, things are fairly balanced. Jammers are fairly new, so we'll see. Silent Kill setting up a fairly very nice wide array of units right here for five, five archies, and, uh, against Entomon only has two, and a bunch of long, uh, a bunch of, uh, armadillos in the back. Silent Kill drops, uh, <laughs> drops a longhorn just to get it killed for the most part. Anything that close to the base by itself, with a lot of other units surrounding it, will pretty much die. And Silent Kill now queuing up a lot of longhorns, getting ready for a big push. Bringing back his T99. Antimon, oh, slashes that thing to death. Looks like Silent Kill probably dropped it there, anticipating that he would probably just pick it up again once it got low on health, but did not get back in time. Now, Antimon has a lot of, once again, has a big force of Longhorn, or er, Armadillos right behind his base, right behind mid. Silent Kill taking out this uh, this tank, so probably so his uh, infantry will have an easier time getting through. Antimon. Microing his 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 Ardillos again, but I, I mean it's not really. There are so many artillery here now for Silent Kill, and he has such a good uh, good configuration. Um, and there are no. There's just a single artillery over here for Antimon. 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 Uh, looks like oh, and he's um he's he's retrieving creeps from the back of his base or from from next to his fort, but. Silent Kill, this is looking so formidable. Big queue of Longhorns uh, for Silent Kill. And 
Antimon just it has just a huge turtle back here with with his with his armadillos and Silent Kill is about to move all of his all of his longhorns through. It looks like they're about to go. He's blocking with the T99s, so if he sets them to capture, they will get stuck on the bridge. He has a lot of seekers and longhorns. Wow, wow, wow. Entomon with the Berthas, but I, I, will it be enough? I, I, pro I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. Silent Kill with so many tanks, so many tanks, so many longhorns. Is he going for the? Is he going for the kill? Yes, he is. They are going down this ramp. Oh boy. Oh boy, they are not going to capture. They are going for the kill. And Antimon, there are there is no return to base command yet. So, <laughs> Antimon's uh, armadillos over here will do will do nothing against this huge attack. Did, did Antimon scout this yet? I don't think so. Even if he did, it is very hard to de to determine on 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 a glance where uh the you know where the potential path of of, of tanks are going. And now he's got to see this. He's got to see this now. There's a huge line of Longhorns going for his base and he, oh now obviously he sees it let's see what he does he dies <laughs> there's so many T99s very hard to deal with all those missiles oh and <laughs> Antimon exclaiming and they both go down silent kill to those hats but now Antimon freaking out I would be freaking out with all these Longhorns coming at me and drop some goalies that really will help this uh, this longhorn push will actually be thwarted fairly well by these goalies and bombing um, however that leaves silent kill to move in all these longhorns to take down take down these armadillos and these longhorns will melt these armadillos completely and right now back at back at at at, uh, at Antimon's base there are just two seekers and those will be handily taken care of by those Goliaths. But look look at this composition right here. Look at all these heavy, hard-hitting units sitting right here. And nothing but armadillos right here. Dillos and ratchets. Antimon bringing as many dillos as he can over and over. But, once again, there are two dillos. It's a two dillo cost to one longhorn. Uh, two dillo to one longhorn cost ratio. And a lot of people have been using that as an equivalent. But uh, it's really hard to micro all those dillos. Uh, over and over, and they, they just take a lot of damage, especially splash damage from um, from artillery. So so the damage is not as transferable as you might think. The seeker coming over to uh, to to try to to try to to foil Antimon, but it w will not work. Silent kill with so many units, so many units, so many artillery. All those art art artillery are supporting all of his units, and look at all those heavy, heavy longhorns. Um, Antimon taking one down with his claws, but it's really not enough. Silent Kill is wow. That is a lot of that is a lot of T99s. T99 spam has become fairly common now after the price reduction, and just taking it back. Oh. Yep, and that is not going to control anytime soon. Antimon left with 15, 15 upkeep, or 15 units on the field, 51 upkeep, uh, and Antimon, or and Silent Kill has uh, 30, up, uh, 30 units on the field with a total of 77 upkeep right now, and there are, uh, they are all T99s and Longhorns. It looks very, very grim. Antimon trying to bomb there. To very little avail, the bombing is not as effective as it used to be way back when. Silent Kill moving up his artillery. And it's just gonna everything's just gonna pelt this base. All this artillery. Look at all look there's like five T99s around this mid base with with three longhorns. Silent Kill drops a longhorn down. Antimon cannot does not have enough to deal with it. He 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 starts bringing Dillos back to the, his his close base. And it just Oh, and he's sending them over here. Cause he's getting he's gonna just send it uh <laughs> I, I I think he's just gonna send a push to attack. And Silent Kill sees that. He, he scouts it for sure. But what is he doing? Oh, he just brought him over. 
to get him out of harm's way, out of any potential art artillery's way. Silent Kill now securing uh, Antimon's forward base. And Antimon does send these Adillos to attack, that, that that was what he was planning to do. And he keeps them there just to just to uh, just to kind of maybe make him think that he, he's not moving them out. But once they reach back there, and Silent Kill has got to see this by now. It's there yeah. But there are too many. Look at all these T99s covered with ratchets and longhorns. It's just way too much to deal with. Antimon, oh and but Silent Kill gets himself killed. And Antimon does the does the four drop. But he doesn't leave him at the front door. He does not leave them at the front door. What is Antimon doing? He's typing. Right side. <laughs> yeah, good job. He's aware. He's aware. He knows what he's doing. He just did that on purpose. And he he leaves. Silent kill. Dropping dropping the creeps up here so they defend the back defend the back. Which is interesting. And Antimon's gonna start turtling up with these goalies because he has lost this base right here. This war is over for this base for the most part. Silent Kill can just push up all these units sitting here at mid. All these artillery. He can move them up. He can move up the uh, the T99s. I think probably the Jammer did play a large role in this game. However, there was not as much artillery war as uh, normally on Simple. Uh, as there was just artillery play, I would say. And those Sams will definitely, or level 4 creeps, sorry, will definitely uh, prevent backdoor drops. Although I would be worried about front door drops more. And Entamon slashing as much as he possibly can. He will go down, yes, to those missiles. And Silent Kill, now, now that's wh now what happens when you, uh, when you kill your opponent, you move up your, you move up your units. And here we go. Here he's taken. I would have set them to. Um, I would have set as many tanks as I could to uh, to capture personally, and then brought my T99s up. And then it would all eventually get there. However, Antimon with these Goliaths, Silent Kill does not have Goliaths in his loadout. So, really, if Silent, if if Antimon could hold this out for a really long time, you can theoretically turn this game around with Goliaths versus Longhorns. It, it should. Well, it, it could happen. And Antimon trying to do bombing, he, he looked like he landed there for a minute. He does need some AA to prevent Silent Kill from doing some more bombing, especially on these units that are not... Oof. And Antimon just drops a random Dillo back there, I'm not really sure what he was trying to get at there, but... Uh, Silent Kill moving up all his units, one by one by one by one. With 13,000 in his, in, 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 his, uh, in his bank. What's he gonna do with it? What's he gonna do with it? Antimon desperately spending over and over, desperately trying to micro his Goliaths to, to stay alive, but but Silent Kill just has too much economy and too much, uh, too many units to deal with. These Goliaths will not survive the heal rate on, on bases. Just not what it used to be. And it, it it cannot support, cannot um, support this kind of a uh, fire on them. Although if he continues to buy Goliaths. And continues to, uh, yeah, he should, he should be able to just stop this right now. Yeah, fourth Goliath comes out on the field. Silent kill it. Apparently went down to something. Not sure that because I missed that. But Antimon here with there's only two T99s here, so we can do fairly efficient bombing. Silent kill comes back, and he does start to move his units up. I would have done a push rather than a uh, than a than a shift or at least a a, a T push with. With, with with the Longhorns and then shifting up the T99s. Antimon just making a, oh making more armadillos here and Silent Kill it did not did not uh, he 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 moved all of his units to here and they all they're all they're all dead to the goalies and now Antimon is going to start coming back in this game simply because he has Goliaths and Silent Kill does not. Silent Kill needs to really take advantage of the fact that he has jammers and he has uh, artillery and Antimon does not have any artillery and Antimon only has jammers. Oops. Wow, that was backwards. Antimon does not have any jammers, he only has artillery and Antimon is trying to trace the bottom of the map and Silent Kill definitely sees this. No? Oh, really? Silent Kill misses this and, and 
neutralizes that base. Are the Sands going to survive? Are the Sands going to survive? They do, but this base will not stay red for very long as there are four level 3 creeps. Antimon is, <laughs> is gone, and Gabe's airspeed does not do anything. Yeah, usually Tycho Bomber is a, is a very popular way to go, or Lexi Bomber because of the damage increase. However, this game is going on. It is already over time one, with only two minutes and 18 seconds left in it. And <laughs> all of these Goliaths are really hard to handle. And Silent Kill, for some reason, bombing that outpost. When he had those Sams for support, or those those creeps for support, those high level creeps, and he's gonna he's gotta pick up pick up the creeps, pick up the pick up the creeps and take that base. No? Okay. Well, I mean, figured rather than them dying. And the Bertha comes out for Antimon. Antimon has both end game units, and jammers suck. <laughs> jammers suck. These, this Bertha and this Artie and this Archie are not firing. These jammers are doing their job. Antimon once again back to micro healing his Goliaths and Silent Kill, trying to make his army what it can be. I, I, I mean, it's at this point. I mean, he could he could probably do drops. There's nothing on uh, on Antimon's base right now, and he he can do Longhorn drops probably pretty easy. Already level 12 should be pretty pretty good for that. It's very unfortunate that that Silent Kill only has T99s. I would personally mix Seekers with Longhorns versus T99s with Longhorns simply because Seekers attack so much more DPS than the the T99s. And Silent Kill puts the Jammer under the bridge and a T99 to protect it on both sides. And Antimon trying to do what he can with the Berthas on on this 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 base right here. But this base also has a jammer. It also has a jammer. And Antimon bombing this Longhorn and Ratchet combo. I would have tried to bomb the jammer at T99. Oh, and he, he's starting to shift his Goliaths down to try to take this to try to take his forward again. But it's just I don't know. I don't know. Uh, silent kill. If I were silent kill at this point, I would take these artillery right here and start to angle them toward these Goliaths, toward this clump of units right here. He, he's moving them, but he doesn't need to move them. He just needs... These are Archies. They just need to be re-angled. And Overtime 2 hits, and and Antimon is taking a lot of damage at this point. Antimon just keeps pumping out the goalies. Oh no, those were probably just the same. But yeah, more Armadillos. More Armadillos, very cost-efficient. And... Wow. I don't know. <laughs> this was quite a back and forth. Antimon trying to do some Dilla drops, but he was seen by Silent Kill and had to drop them out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and oh, all uh, turns and burns, but does not get back to his base or to an outpost fast enough. And Silent Kill with the with the drops and for some reason attacking the base. I'm pretty sure Bomber still can't. <laughs> Not, not go, uh, not attack the base. And Antimon saying he's never had a simple match going to overtime. And uh, I mean, and I'm assuming he's one on one right now. But this is, oh, not. It's, it's, yeah. This was pretty stally. The jammers do drag and drag, and they, they, they do, they do favor the turtle, um, the turtle style. Antimon going down again from Silent Kill, but I mean, at this point, he has, he, he has, if he, if he wants to win, which he tried to do just now, he, uh, he did need to do something, he tried, he tried to get past his, uh, his line right there, but, but Silent Kill saw him. Silent Kill typing, doing nothing there. Antimon commented he did not bring jammers, and Silent Kill saying, shoulda rushed next base, you had it then. He, I, I'm assuming he was talking about when, when Antimon had mid, and he had a lot of armadillos back there, and he only had a, a jammer and two turrets, but I thought he had way more than that. But right now, this will just drain in, from an overtime. Silent Kill does have the radar advantage on this side, and drops Longhorns on the front door, but does not set them to attack. Oh, but this uh, so this Longhorn right here is attacking this moneymaker, 
And but at least this one, the closest thing is the fort. Or at least it's out of uh, range for this playmaker, I'm not sure. But now, once again, they start attacking the creeps coming up. Antimon tr did advance his, his Goliath to the point where he got him here with two hats, and that is pretty damaging. Silent Kill looks like he might go down to these hats and a focus fire, but he did not. He stayed he stayed over his base, and he was cool. Wow, that is really scary going over, going right off your base into hats. That is that is freaky. But this is GG. Antimon <laughs> did uh, ho did hold out for a very long time, and this is a victory for a Silent Kill. Uh, this was RUI, and that was pretty. That was, that was pretty entertaining, I would say. Uh, and that is game. See you next time.